Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss about EC2 instance store. Okay, so this is also one option for storing uh, data. And uh, just remember this one thing that this is temporary block level storage. So how do I remember? Because uh, if you are going for examination, uh, certification examination, uh, basically you can relate it to instance instant temporary. So uh, things we which are instant are actually temporary. I mean, this is how you can relate it. So EC2 instance store offers temporary block level storage for EC2 instances. Store volumes are ephemeral. Uh, that is why it is temporary. This means that data stored on an instance store volume will be lost if the instance is stopped, terminated or fails. Remember one thing, since it's temporary, so if by mistake, even if you uh, stop the instance or terminate the instance, whole data will go away. Volumes are physically attached to the host machine and that runs uh, your EC2 instance. So because it is physically attached, just uh, related with the, for example, you are having your laptop and you are attaching pen drive or any hard disk to it. So of course, because it's uh, physically connected, that's why the, uh, the, the latency will be low, the throughput will be high, etc. Now, uh, performance wise, it will offer high IOPS and low latency and uh, it is beneficial for applications which requires fast access to temporary data. Always remember only temporary data for temporary data only we should, uh, uh, we, we should consider this type of instance store. There is no additional cost for it. Uh, it will be included in the cost of your EC2 instance and the usage will be quite uh, straightforward because this is ephemeral, this is temporary. So it's idle for temporary data that doesn't need to uh, uh, persist beyond the life of instance. So for example, you want to include some cache storage, temporary files or for buffering. Now we need to consider few things. Uh, uh, for EC2 instance store, first thing is of course, if the if the instance is stopped or terminated, the crucial uh, data, if there is any, will go away. So it's not uh, for crucial data. So any critical or long-term data, uh, we need to consider either EBS or any other storage solution. Not all EC2 instance types come with EC2 uh, with instance store volumes. That is one thing, and availability of instance store. Uh, depends on the instance type and its size. For data that needs to be pres preserved beyond the instance life, we need to consider EBS or backing up to Amazon S3. I am going to discuss about Amazon S3. It's another service from Amazon uh, for object storage. So that's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.